Welcome to The Daily Me, the place for insights into life and business. Hello there and welcome to another episode of The Daily Me Show. It's Rick Nusky here. Hope you're doing great today. Thank you for joining me. And on today's show, I want to talk about writing books. Now, I'm an author and the first time around, I couldn't believe how much of a struggle it was for me to um, not so much get my ideas out of my head and onto a page, but do it in a way that made sense so that I didn't spend hours and hours and hours rewriting, resorting, sifting and deleting um, through all of this, I guess, this mind dump that I'd put onto the page. And that's the trick. If you spend time um, creating an outline first, and working on each chapter um, up until the point where you're happy with the first draft, instead of going from, you know, chapter one through to chapter nine, through to chapter six and five and three and one and backwards and forwards like that, you'll find that the creative process is far more productive and a little less stressful. You know, I've um, I've found um, that AI can be both a a, um, a blessing and a curse. And what I mean by that is that there's, you know, different types of AI around, you know, that they've now made products that will help you, you know, quote unquote, write a book. Um, now, I don't believe that for a second. If you haven't written the book through your own thoughts and, um, you know, it's not a book, it's an AI um, document, but you can still use AI to a point. And here's what I mean. If you were to ask, say, the likes of ChatGPT to give you an outline of a book, say, I want nine chapters in my book and each chapter has to um, cover three topics and those three topics have to be explained in no more than um, 250 words, that is a really productive use of AI. Now, by comparison, if you use um, a a book writing piece of software that's driven by AI, it can turn your life into a nightmare. If you care about the quality of your book, if you care about the readership, if you care about your reputation, because people can see through it. You know, I I, I asked ChatGPT to write me a chapter of a book and I used the same um, prompt in a dedicated writing book software. I'm not gonna name names because they're out there. You'll be able to easily find which ones they are. But I, I basically got identical content. Now, admittedly, you know, the, the instructions were pretty simple and, you know, and I would expect nothing much out of the ordinary because my prompt wasn't all that unique from um, ChatGPT to this other platform. But not only that, it can go off on a ramble just like I'm doing now. <laughs> but if you're not careful, what happens is that the likes of ChatGPT are absolutely amazing at giving you exactly what you ask for. So if you say, I want a thousand words in chapter one, you're going to have to basically go through that whole chapter and rewrite and reconfigure and bring your own voice into that document, which is the takeaway here today. I really don't want, if you are an aspiring author, I don't want you to get caught in the trap of thinking that AI is an easy way to write your book. It is if you don't care about the quality of the content. It is if you're looking to do short little lead magnets. And I'm sure it's great for a whole host of other things. I'm not knocking AI. I think it definitely has its place. But be authentic to your true self and spend the time actually writing the book. Because, you know, I can see a day in the future where authors come out with, um, you know, some sort of a certification label, such as um, written by humans for humans or not an AI document, because, you know, it's it will get difficult. It will become more difficult to differentiate between AI and somebody who's written a book. But what they can't replace, AI can't replace, is your authentic self, is your stories. So yeah, that's really where I'm at with AI and the way that you go about writing a book. I'd love to hear 
your um, writing experiences and whether or not you agree or disagree with me about AI. I'd love to have a conversation inside the Podcasting Central group that's on Facebook. Type in Podcasting Central, come on into the group. There's no barriers to entry. Love to see you there. Love to get your comments on this. And also, um, please help us grow the My Future Business YouTube channel by dropping over to YouTube, typing in My Future Business and liking, subscribing. And even if you want to get our latest updates, hit that notification bell. We'll be sure to send through the latest content to you. But uh, up until tomorrow, I'll speak to you then.